Well, Mikey, it was a game that had a, a bit of everything. What was your take on it? Uh, to be fair, you know, I thought the, the going into the game, obviously, with a, a lot of uncertainty with everything that's happened in the past week, uh, you know, the, the gaffer just kind of said to us, um, you know, go out there and play football today, you know, express yourselves and, you know, play with, play with a smile on your face. And I think that's what we did today. You can see we moved the ball around a lot better today and we created a lot more chances. And even though we, we played most of the game with a man up, obviously getting a pen, which Courtney scored, and uh, I think we still enjoyed ourselves a lot more. And you can see that we were expressing ourselves and we created a lot more chances. And I just think overall it was a good game. Even though we went down 2-1, we just fought, we fought back with adversity and we got the draw at the end of the day, which I think is a starting point for us considering our, our last couple of games. It seemed like the shackles had almost come off the boys and we, were able, we went forward with numbers and, as you say, made plenty of chances. In some ways, do you think we are a bit unlucky not to win that one? Yeah, I honestly do. I think, you know, we had a... Even our corner kicks, we had great chances in the box. And I think even though at the end there, I had a chance to put it away. And I just think that, you know, we're playing with uh, a lot more freedom. And uh, I think the, the boys were enjoyed it a lot. And you can see we even playing through the midfield, which getting it to the front man, which giving us uh, a lot of space. And me and Efron on the wings, you know, we created a couple of chances. And Courtney, I thought, did excellent up front, holding the ball. And, you know, yeah, at the end of the day, playing a man up, you know, I thought we were, were going to get the result and win it. But we know we'll come away with a draw. And even at the end, five minutes left, usually we would concede. And today we held strong. I think it's a good stepping point for us. The boys have had to show plenty of resilience. It's always difficult when a, when a manager leaves and, and all the things that go on with it. And then, obviously, Scott Loach goes off injured. Mentally, do you think the boys can be proud of that one today? Uh, yeah, I really do. And I think it, it's interesting because the gaffer before the game said to us, you know, there's three things that could happen at the beginning of the game. We could concede early. You know, a player can get injured or we, a man could get sent off. And those two of those things happened to us and three of them happened throughout the game and he says what are you going to do about it and we kind of adapted to it you know all the situations when Lochi went, went off Eamon came in and did excellent and I just think all the boys you know we rallied together and obviously with a lot of adversity at the club and everything that's been going on in the last couple of weeks and obviously even this week you know all, everything no one knew what was going on I just think the boys came out today and we expressed ourselves and I hope uh, you know it's much more enjoyable to play in today. Talk me through the goal it was a good ball from Efron it seemed to be a, a really good finish. Uh, yeah, well, I seen Efron on the wing and I kind of drifted to the penalty spot and, you know, he put in a great ball and uh, obviously he was coming mid-height so I just kind of opened up my foot to try to put it to the back post and I came off clean so and it was, uh, yeah, it was a great goal. One of the better goals I've scored in my career for sure. Was it one of those once it hit your foot you knew where it was going? Yeah, I think actually once I hit it, once I felt the ball go off my foot and I just seen it lift a little bit, I thought, yeah, it's it. That's why I started running to the corner flag. So, you know, it was a great feeling to score, especially to bring us back right in the game right away. You seem really upbeat. The boys seem really upbeat. Plenty to take into Tuesday night's game at Stockport, which will be another difficult test. Yeah, obviously going away and they're one of the better teams in the lead. And I just think, you know, it's just a starting point. You know, we're obviously happy about the result, but, you know, we have a, lot, a long way to go to prove to a lot of people that, you know, we can compete in this league. And I just think, you know, we'll take the positives from this game and we'll debrief it on Monday. And we'll come out again on uh, Tuesday and not change the way we are. And we'll hopefully get another result then. Just lastly, you made... A good point there. Is it about trying to prove some people wrong, I guess, because it has been a difficult season? Is this the last 19 games about trying to right some wrongs? Yeah, I think that's the most important. Like, I think, you know, a lot of teams come up against us and they feel that they're going to win right away. And I just think, you know, Barnet's a big club. And even when I came here from Canada, I knew Barnet and I knew it's a big club. And, you know, I just think it's one of the teams that deserves to be up in the lead. And I just think that, you know, the last 19 games, even though results at the end of the day aren't a big deal at the moment, I just think it's for us is to prove that we belong up there. And going into next season as a team, I know I think this is a good stepping point in the next 19 games.